thank you, Roberto, for inviting me last year, a year ago, exactly a year ago at the same time, during the same week, we were both announcing 3D Excite, and uh, here we are now, on uh, Biovia for the bioscience, on uh, material science. And uh, I think uh, in the last 12 months, uh, clearly, all these pieces coming together are creating something that maybe provide you with a new feeling, a new understanding about what is the 3D experience and why we made the decision in 2011 that was announced in 2012 on February 9th that we would transform and invest massively to elevate the purpose and the strategy of the company to provide the most innovative platform to create experiences for 12 industries, 68 segments. So what I would like to do with you now is to give you a few elements to think about how you can rethink innovation in the context of what was presented. Because I think there are significant consequences related to how companies are going to collaborate on work going forward. With the picture behind me, you have a few things, a few nice images here. But what I would like to tell you is that in order to create the to-be experience of what you want to offer to your clients or consumers, whether it's business or consumers, in order to create that, you need to evaluate things. The evaluation aspect is very essential Otherwise, things will not come right first time. Which means that the world of collaborative platform, the work, the capabilities of collaborative platform has to move to a new level whereby modeling, simulation, on all aspects of evaluation and analytics can come together to create this, what we call, digital twin. The digital twin of the real world. And digital twin is much more than just a digital view of something. It helps you predict, evaluate, and create this new innovation stream and enable the experience thinking. Because experience thinking is not static and has to be evaluated with the end users and consumer prior to committing to do the program. Digital twin for airplane, there is no, no question anymore. Most, all of the aerospace companies are doing digital twin. We manage big data from that standpoint, huge data, just one tail number for an airplane, one tail number is going beyond between 40 tera to 100 terabyte. We do manage all big data and data science for the life of airplanes which fly. So big data is at the very heart of what we have been confronted to address. And that's why the platform, the east side, called II, information intelligence, is so critical for existing assets and for the future. You have also the uh, Louis Vuitton uh, Foundation, uh, beautiful Frangeri architecture, which is one of a kind. And when you do one of a kind, with an architecture such as this architecture where none, there is no parts equivalent to, identical to another one, with complex shapes, 
complex structure, the digital twin was necessary. And not the, only the digital twin for the design, but the digital twin for the construction process. The other illustration you have is a car, a little car called the Lincoln Go car. We decided a, a, two years ago, almost, to take the bet with our friend from Aka Technology, an engineering firm, not an automotive company, an engineering firm, to build together, design, build an autonomous car. And we did it together on the cloud. The full car was presented in China at an auto show at the uh, Bibandong uh, Innovation Forum in China, very big audience. And we presented the fact that an engineering firm with a software company like that, so system, we could create an autonomous car. And we could program the car by creating the code without writing it down for what is loaded inside the car. We wanted to demonstrate that this was possible on the cloud. And it was done in a global way with a small team, rather small. But the last uh, picture I want to comment uh, that you have here is uh, the city. In fact, there are two pictures I want to comment, and I will come back on the city. We believe today with the platform, the 3D experience platform, we can do the digital twin of an entire city. And I think this year you will see significant announcement with that regard with prestigious cities of the world. Why so? Because 60% or 65% of the world population by 2050 are going to be in cities. And the impact to imagine the right new type of transportation, the right new type of retail, virtual commerce, real commerce, the social environment, the energy distribution, on the waste management, the entire city experience will change the products usage which are in the city and not the other way around. And it's going to change for green reasons, sustainability reasons, and because seven other billion people want to reach a level of living of the first two billion, and if we continue to do innovation the way it's done now, there is no possibility to provide even energy and resources to the seven other billion. Therefore, the fundamental shift will be to change the perspective of how innovation works, to create the proper solutions for the society, which is even a bigger scope, a bigger purpose, those are the factors which stimulated us to invest about 3 billion. 3 billion, there is 1.5 billion that have been invested in acquisition just in the last 24 months. One acquisition a month to make this possible. Last year, we revealed that the Dassault Systems 3D Experience platform could represent the human heart with electrical signal, bio-tissue, and it was considered by the FDA, Federal Drug Administration, as the platform to use for all research on surgery on the heart in America. Digital twin is important, and I wanted to share with you those stories. The second remark that I would like to share with you is that the future of innovation cannot be based only on physical goods. It has to integrate the dimension of life on the geo dimension. Today, maybe something not well known, that the system is the world leader in the bio world when it comes to the innovation platform after the acquisition of Aceleris last year on the creation of Biovia. Last week there were an event in Orlando with all the big players from chemistry and biology and similar to this one and clearly all the world best players were there 
to imagine the future of their scientific-based innovation, material science, bioscience, on how this will affect the change in innovation. When you see composite here, composite cars, there are cars here with composite. We started the composite chain 25 years ago for military activities, 25 years ago. All the equipments which are inside this famous movie that you have, uh, may have seen Good Kill recently, if you go and see that movie, all the equipment that are there were secret program that we did 20 years ago. That's a reality. So, including 3D printing 20, year, 20 years ago. So, at DASA system, we put the science at the heart of everything we do, not the software the scientific dimension of things. So, let's have a quick video that illustrates the importance of new biomaterials. Product, nature, life. Everything is made up of molecules, constantly changing and transforming. From the science of life itself to the technological advancements we've created. Imagine if you could use the power of the digital world to understand these transformations. To truly understand the science behind the world we live in. And use that knowledge to actually improve lives. The capability to discover, design, deploy and deliver breakthrough innovations at the molecular level will be transformational for enterprises of all industries and promises to provide exponential value to their consumers. Companies everywhere are searching for a new paradigm. The So System Biovia delivers that new paradigm. Scientific innovation in the age of experience. Biovia strongly enriches the solution offerings within science-based industries served by Dassault System. Biovia's comprehensive scientific capabilities, from discovery to manufacturing and regulatory compliance, will deeply enrich the scientific solution offerings within life sciences, chemicals, consumer packaged goods, high-tech, energy, aerospace, transportation, and industrial equipment industries served by Dassault System. Biovia brings the virtual biosphere and materials innovation to the core of these industries. The Dassault System 3D Experience Platform, combined with the Biovia science-based portfolio, evolves customers everywhere to transform faster and with more successful and sustainable business outcomes. Together, we provide a new enterprise collaborative environment for biological, chemical, and material experiences transforming the world of scientific innovation. This vision is so powerful and innovative that we are focusing scientific innovation in the Dassault Soul System brand, Biovia. Scientific experiences for the virtual biosphere and materials. It's important to know that we did the 3D experience platform to support such scope of activity. The last three Nobel Prize Amano-san led 2012 from uh, Kyoto University, Martin Kaplus, Charm Technology uh, in 2013, and uh, Yamata, uh, Yamakata-san uh, last year, really were using our modeling and simulation to do the breakthrough they have done. They came to our company. They saw how this innovation could change the future of creation of the things we need to create. And I think this is, for us, relevant. And it means that the industrial processes, the transformation of basic materials, are going to change. And the future of the industry is not going to be the expansion of what has been done, but will be another perspective. More modular, new type of materials, hybridation with bioscience, biomimicry on many of these. We are building the collaborative platform for that, and this is why all those pieces are coming together. I talked to you about the city, 
And uh, I think I have a quick video, and I will not go through all the uh, uh, all the illustration of it, but just a few uh, seconds in it. What you see here is the real-time exploitation of sat satellite images, indexing of all digital legacy data that a city is owning. It's not the city we are going to announce soon. This city uh, in France called Rennes is already using that solution for many years. In fact, it was created there in order to do city planning the city has not been designed by having people working on the screen to do the buildings. It was done from big data integration analysis on generative processes. And it's used to really evaluate transportation flow, energy flow, waste management, including pollution flow based on winds and other weather conditions. There's a lot that can be said about that, but it is now becoming possible to do the digital twin of an entire city. And doing that, it becomes a digital asset for many large energy operators to rethink about how energy management on many other aspects will be managed going forward for such kind of environment. Remember, 65 of the world population in cities they are going to be different, of course, around the world. And uh, that's what we are doing right now. This could not be possible without the experience platform, connecting those elements together. But because we think that the consumer will be in power, uh, we think, I hope my assistant has left here, I wanted to do it to show you another demonstration uh, personally with what we are doing for consumers which is really Pauline you are coming very beautiful thank you Pauline this is an iPad I'm going to show you here in front of you something which is called home by me home by me is about a free product we have million users on the cloud 3D through a browser, and people can set up and define their home ambience. The software is free. Why? Because we believe that with such kind of easy new way to create your ambience at your home, the way the producers of appliance equipment will work is going to change. The way furniture is going to be designed is going to be designed <coughs> against the experience you want to provide. As I said, we have million users already of this application, and we are doing a Google model, which is the one who want to publish their appliance or the furniture are welcome because then it can be easily used in this environment, and it's extremely easy to use. You have here the layout, and uh, you can, in fact, change the layout, take this, move this this way, and by the way, the only thing that the consumer did was this 2D layout that you see here in the, in, in, in the, on the iPad. Everything else was created automatically. Everything else. And you can, of course, go and get the furniture that you want. And there are libraries. And, of course, when the consumer hit that button, uh, we get some royalties from the one we have been publishing on the site. So it's an inverted model, but it's applying to the kind of technology we have. What is the takeaway here? That's a system for 3D cloud-based design has built a level of knowledge on our clouds which have never been done before. And this is a complete illustration. You can go on and really test it. 
and it, it, there are amazing projects being done in the world on that. Now, when you do a point of sales, soon you will be able to be able to create the ambience that way. Very affordable, global, accessible from anywhere, 3D, on the cloud, through a browser. I've heard about some newcomers in this area to just design mechanical part. We are going to do much more, and we are doing much more right now. We believe that the future of 3D, of 3D is automation, even on the creation of 3D. So that was the other message. Now, the platform is very critical because we have taken our 12 brands, re-engineered the entire application portfolio to put everything on one common platform. Why so? Because if you want to do experience, you need to connect all the elements together, as Monica explained, on the thought process to define what you want to do and what you are going to offer to your consumers is completely different from a technology-driven product creation. If you think about Uber, the world's largest cab company without cars on drivers, you are really going outside the other side of the mirror, where the digital asset knowing where the consumer is, where the car provider is, it's changing everything. And I think the same thing is happening in many other domains. And with this experience that I show you about consumer influencing their own destiny in terms of what they want, we think it's going to change the way companies can think about the innovation inside with the open innovation aspect. So we are applying that, of course, systematically for all the brands. That little drawing is not just a marketing communication or communication chart. It's very profound. It's how to reverse everything. So what was before siloed applications are now becoming easy to recombine to support roles, process experiences, and solution experiences. And we are there. We are there for many industry solutions, and I illustrate a few of them. If you look at the pictogram of those industries that were discussed before. One of them is, do we go and sell a 3D tool for a packaging company? Of course not. What is their challenge? Their challenge is, can I do a perfect package? This is for uh, PNG or other big players, L'Oreal and others. They don't really care about CAD capabilities. They care about creating a perfect package, which means the right material, material science, the right usage of the materials because they build millions of them, the right industry process, the right brand management, so first moment of true simulation. I'm talking to you here about labeling. You sell in 200 countries in the world. The Food Administration has different conventions. It, it is as complex to configure the label on a shampoo bottle as it is to configure an airplane. And do they want this software inside? No, they want it on the cloud because they use design agency and so on. So this is an illustration of how we have been able to save hundreds of millions in this industry just optimizing materials. You know, you remember those bottles that crashes because they are on a pallet that explode because they are trans transported by airplanes. Many of those problems which cost a fortune to this to these kind of companies. This is really the end-to-end -end experience thinking. Another illustration is where are those packages going? What is the consumer journey, journey within the store? How should this be set up so the shelf experience is the best experience 
for the consumer. It's not about the shape of the bottle only. It's about, as Monica said, the differentiation on why product wins and others are losing. And uh, this kind of solutions today, in this case called Perfect Shelf, are in operation with some of our clients in the world. Now, you might think that with Roberto's uh, introduction about the beautiful car in context of the city and so on, where are the connecting points? I hope that you now better see that the connecting point is that experience is holistic. And at the center of the experience, it's human being. It's the values, it's the purpose, it's what they are looking for. And if you have seen Steve Jobs, a uh, movie when he takes the workman and put it in the trash and say I'm going to do something else is really centered on experience. So that's why this environment to build experience is so critical. So now a very quick uh, update and this is my last part. The dynamic, we announced 32% growth Q1 uh, we think we are going to do double digit significant growth this year. So the world is really adopting this kind of technology. It will take time to take full advantage because the roadmap is not an easy roadmap. We continue to do significant innovation. That's a system is considered as one of the most innovative companies in the world. We continue to expand the ecosystem with partners. Roberto presented the number of partners we have with 3DX side, we are going to continue to expand our partnership as we do with Simulia, with Katia, with SolidWorks, with Innovia, with all the brands we have, 3D VR, owned by me, is what I presented. So we are really building an open architecture to leverage legacy data on built up next generation application. So that's what I wanted to share with you. And I think if you really embrace that set of thought thinking process, it will have significant implication in terms of how you can imagine the future of your companies, whether it's a small company, mid-sized or big company. And by the way, related to small company, I want to tell you that we are, you are probably familiar with the Fab Lab initiative from MIT, we are almost in the, in the 450 Fab Labs in the world with our software today. And we plan to expand our Fab Lab network in the world for open innovation using the cloud environment I visited a few weeks ago in the center of Tokyo, an amazing Fab Lab using our solution on the cloud with new young entrepreneurs creating new solutions, new experiences on the cloud. I think we plan to have at least 3,000 sites around the world about open innovation in years to come. The consumerization of innovation is going to change the way industry are building up because people want to have a say. And so that's the light under which I think 3D Excite can help a lot. We have a clear purpose. We are walking the talk. We have created universe for the bio world, for the geo world, the product world for 30 years. And we hope, I hope, that this will serve your business and help you elevate the dimension of innovation to create the best experiences for the clients and consumers you are serving every day. Thank you very much for coming and listening. I'd be delighted to meet with some of you uh, during the day today. Thank you again. Thank you.